Okay, listen. I gotta be honest with you. Oh no. My toad singing voice sounds more like toad than my just toad talking voice. Prove it. If it was like, my diamond. <laughs> Why did you go to my diamond? <laughs> my diamond. <laughs> Here's the thing. I have a bad toad impression. <laughs> but when I'm singing as toad, it sounds more like toad than my normal toad impression. Does that make sense? Like, um, from the chandelier. <laughs> you know what so I mean? I, look, hold on. Let me one up you because I think I have a good toad impression. So you talk my toad like this. You talk like that, and you go, hi, got a swing from the chandelier. But if the I'm, chandelier. If I'm just, if I'm just did, you, did you hear the chandelier parody where someone did that with Toad's voice? Yes. That's one of the greatest pieces of <laughs> art I've ever witnessed in my life. I thank Sia I think one time, for putting out that song because now the Toad would <laughs> exist. Like, that's think, how deep that goes. One time I sang all of... Chandelier! <laughs> I sang all of Beneath the Mask uh, from Persona 5 as Toad. Where have you been? Been searching all along. That's so deep compared to your other Toad. Come face the Twilight on and on. It's, it's very... I found a clue. Like, I don't know how to word it, but I'm, I love that Toad is on the screen and Yoshi and Mario are both looking at us while Toad is like <laughs> just driving like normal. <laughs> it's like... Oh, can you stop with the crappy toad impression? And then she's like, What did they just say? <laughs> they said a word. Oh, stop with the, stop with the crappy toad impression. And then she's like, ha, la, 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 la. And Toad's like, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> what but, mode do you want to play? Uh, I don't. I feel like Renegade. I love all of these, but the only Shine Thief I love is on Double Dash. They have never made Shine Thief fun again, except for on Double Dash with the GameCube map where it was just one big square and the Luigi's Mansion map they had. Dude, that was awesome. Let's just do classic blue battle. I'm going to be straight up with you. I want to play all of these because they just sound really fun. Okay, random. Uh, okay. Are we going to play all of them? Hopefully. <clears throat> Five rounds. Hopefully we'll get to play them all. Are we same, on the same team or, or opposite team? Okay, okay, okay. Is this episode one of White Guy versus White Guy? Do I have to edit that? Nah. Okay. Do you want to be red or blue? Blue. Wait, but I'm Mugman. But player one is red. We have to be consistent. <laughs> but we're already <laughs> inconsistent. <laughs> <clears throat> or best. Welcome back to another episode of White Guys vs. White Guys. We do <laughs> toad impressions. I'm gonna sweat! I have one toad impressions. <laughs> Episode one of White Guy vs. White Guy is a Saturday upload, and we're it's just Toad, toad impressions. impressions. <laughs> we're just doing Toad impressions the entire time. Like, yeah, I got you with that green shell. And, 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 no, you cut off the beginning of this episode, and that's at the Saturday upload that starts the series. And then people who don't watch Saturday uploads are going to be so lost. Like, when did they start fighting? Know what I mean? I do. I feel like I should just give you this episode to edit at that point. Look. Platoon map? This is your favorite map. I do love me some gibberish music. <laughs> oh. Do you still have Frantic on? Yeah. That would explain it. <laughs> I just got smashed by a bomb and like I have shells. fun on. I don't disagree. I'm just... Yo! No. So, for those of you who don't know, White Guy vs. White Guy is a new series where we <clears throat> brutally murder each other alive on camera. Oh! Did you have a feather? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> you like that one, though? That, that had to be a good play, right? I got seriously pranked. You saw what I was doing, too. Let's go, baby Mario! The crazy part is, I wasn't even screen cheating. No, you, you remember that game? I get the reference. It was a fun game. It was. Like, actually, I want to play screen cheat again. Okay. <clears throat> if there's time after this, we can. Oh, actually? Do yeah. mind? 
Yeah. I think I think I kind of carried it for red team over here. Yeah. Because I had it for half of the turn. Okay, I'm coming for you. Okay. I'll get over it. Will you? Or will I get you? <laughs> Listen here, Bennett Foddy. <laughs> Not in, not in my Nintendo Switch game. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. I don't like that it gets rid of the big shine thing when you're on my screen. You're gonna carry it for the team. You're gonna win because you're good. Ah, crap. Ah! Got him. Uh-oh. No. Let's go! <laughs> I'm just going backwards! I can't believe I just lost shine down. <laughs> this really is Planet Zero. Look at me! <laughs> what did my team do? <laughs> oh my gosh. You're telling me the first real installment of White Guys versus White Guys? It's not over. It's gonna be me being on a team with a bunch of CPUs. Alright, so that's two points for me. I won Toad Impressions and the Shine game. You can pick the stage. Uh, I wish they had the... the other one, Battle Stadium. Hopefully we get... Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> hopefully we get uh, the Renegade Piranha Plant, whatever it's called. That's a fun one. Like, for the Mario Stadium. I like that one on this map. I tried to gurgle the water, but it came out as like a... I cannot comp... Bomb <laughs> I cannot L. competently do toad impressions because I scream. It like, hurts my throat. Well, it's... it's I make music, and I know this is so wacky and crazy, a part of what I do is scream. Do you make, like, metal or something? A little bit. Really? Um, I know, like, I like screaming. It's really fun for me. I need um, to learn how to scream better. Even if I'm just hanging out by myself, I'll scream if a song I'm listening to screams. Screaming is fun, but I need to, like, learn how to, like do a proper screen. I don't know how to do a full-on, like, proper screen exactly, but I do scream in a way where my throat does not hurt. Unless I do it for, like, an extended amount of time. Um. But yes, I love screaming. So whenever I do a toad impression, I'm trying to do the normal, regular screaming that I do, but just make it high-pitched, and it's really difficult. <laughs> It ends up hurting my throat. I don't know if you know this or not. I'm naturally a deeper register. Mm. As in... <clears throat> as in whenever I talk, my voice is usually more like on this kind of thing. Like, whenever I talk in that higher voice like I usually talk in for a long period of time, I actually hurt my throat. Then why are you talking? I don't know how to make the... I don't know how to explain it. Because... That's how I talk. But, okay, I do, I don't understand, because I genuinely, I talk like that genuinely, right? But all of my pitches and my range goes down. Does that make sense? What you're listening to right here is, like, getting close to the peak of, like, how high I can go. Does that make sense? Yes. Like, naturally, whenever I have this, like, talking voice, it's kind of just how high my voice goes. Ugh. Now, that, that was a fake deep voice I put on just for that segment, just to exaggerate it. Right. But whenever I'm talking in a deep voice, my throat never hurts. <laughs> but if I'm exaggerating my higher pitches, it hurts my throat. Does that make sense? I could, like I could carry a whole conversation like this and my throat won't hurt. But if I carried a conversation like this, my throat would hurt. See like, like it's just, it's just easier for me to talk deeper. <clears throat> I find it easier for me to talk higher. Like uh, I could carry a whole conversation like this if I really felt like it. But I can't do that. I'm like the opposite. I like doing high-pitched voices because I find it funny. 
I'm like, I can hit fairly high notes in singing. Also, to make this very clear, it has absolutely nothing to do with my image or picture of manliness. Mm -hmm. Just to the audience. Because Christian knows. Yeah. I don't give a flying... Fart. Mario Kart <laughs> glider. <laughs> All right, you pick. I don't give a flying Mario Kart glider about the way people perceive me in a lot of ways. That is very true. I will show up. I showed up to an interview where they pay me twelve fifty or $13 an hour, and I wore sweatpants and a stained t-shirt, and I was hired. Like, I don't... I care in certain situations. You carry yourself with a lot of, like, confidence, I, I would yes. say. Like, I'm not afraid of what people are going to think of me. I'm Dodge not... the law. Amen, brother. Here's the thing. I'm also petrified of what people think of me. Right. It, it I just... feel like, to a certain extent, <clears throat> putting up that level of confidence means that you're confident. <laughs> like, it just, it just depends on the situation, right? But I'm usually not really nervous or worried about people doing whatever. Now, in elementary school, I cried because someone complimented my t-shirt. But that was, like, I was a little child, and I always thought people were bullying me, and blah, 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 blah. Dang, we're really out here, huh? I'm looking for people, I promise. No, like, Baby Mario is the only one who's left. Thank goodness. Do not, do not, do not. I don't know. I'm just... The, the point of me saying the whole deep voice thing is just that I always found it really weird. Like, I've never understood it, I guess. Yeah. I've never understood why I speak at a deeper register. Like, my natural voice is deeper. When that's not exactly how my family goes. How do you open the cell? Uh, you just hit the little key. Where's the key? Is in it the in the center? center? Okay. The dead center. You just drop through it. If you look on the map, there's going to be a big... Oh, you can't see it. But there's a big square in the center. You just drive into that. Duh! Uh, this is a hard game mode for both people. Yeah. Um, I've always like Toes got you. had a bit of a higher pitched voice and uh, been a little bit self conscious about it, just because you know like oh. man, I'm supposed to talk deep. Poor guy. But I stopped caring. Like I've embraced that I can speak in a very high like voice and like do kind of like feminine voices, like uh, like. I can do a half decent Princess Peach impression. I almost heard it just then when like, you did your high voice. I thought it sounded like a woman. So sweet! <laughs> I can't really do it right now. Hey, you can voice her when we do Paper Mario. Oh, Peachy! Oh, Mario! That kind of thing. I wish just you could. And I got you. Oh, I choked it. You almost won. Like, um, only 35 seconds. I feel like the Ren the Piranha Plants are supposed to win. Just because of the amount of time. Oh! One left. Where's Wario? Oh, he's going. Get him, Tanuki Mario. Tanuki Mario, where are you going? He's right go, behind go, 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 you. Go, 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 go. Yes! Oh, you got it. You won. Congratulations. <laughs> it's okay, it's just you. Yeah, baby! Congratulations. But yeah, I've, uh... I did terrible. Toadette like, going Curious. back to the Chandelier song, I could go like, From the chandelier, chandelier... I could go higher if I wanted to. I like can't a, even get close to that. My voice cracks when I get like half that. Chandelier! 